Governor Vondo State Lucky Aidatiwa has launched the All Progressives Congress governorship campaign for Undo North Senatorial District with a promise to consolidate on his achievements if elected. At the Radi in Ikari Akoko, Governor Aidatiwa urged the people of the Senatorial District to vote for him en masse. Senior reporter Ayodej Muradio has more. In Ikari Akoko, the headquarters of Akoko Northeast local government area of Undo State, came alive when the campaign train of Governor Loki Ayedatiwa reached the area of Undo North Senatorial District rally. Do you want to talk about the workers in Undo Addressing State? the crowd of party supporters at the rally, Governor Ayedatiwa called on the people to rally behind the All Progressives Congress APC in the November 16 governorship election. The governor said the future of the state depends on continuity of the party's developmental agenda. He expressed gratitude to the people for their overwhelming support, which he attributed to the visible developmental strides his administration has made in less than one year in office. Thank you for all the support you have given to this administration. And you are supporting us because you have seen Santos. what we have been doing. The state deputy governor, Olaide Adelami, who is also Aida Tiwa's running mate, stressed the importance of continuity in governance. The government is loved by the people of Undo State, and they came there, they have now come out en masse to demonstrate the fact that they love this government and they want continuity. Some leaders of the party also stressed the need for the people to vote for Governor Aida Tiwa. Although Ondo North Central District has always been our strong uh, point in Ondo State. And if you look at the records so far from all the elections we have been having, we always got the highest in Ondo North. And this is just going to be a walkover for us. Ayeda Tiwa is a man of peace. Ayeda Tiwa is a man of integrity. Ayeda Tiwa is a man of honor. Ayeda Tiwa is a man who stands by his words. And we believe that. With him at the saddle, Ondo State will be great again. The APC campaign train will move to Ondo South Senatorial District, where the governor is also expected to seek the people's support for his re election. Ayodeji Morade, your TVC News, Akure. And the All Progressives Congress leaders in Wari are appealing to Nigerians to be patient with President Bola Tinubu as he navigates the country's current economic challenges. This call to action comes after a meeting where the Shakiri APC leaders also pledged to collaborate with other ethnic groups in Delta State to strengthen the party's presence. Ikenamichi reports. Daily, Nigerians are grappling with the harsh economic reality confronting the nation. The country is facing a number of economic challenges that threaten its growth prospects and stability. These include high inflation, foreign exchange rate volatility, low productivity, and poor infrastructure. Nigeria's economic growth and stability depend on addressing these challenges with effective policies and collective efforts, which President Bola Tinubu has been doing since assumption of office. These leaders of Ishekiri All Progressives Congress, rising from a meeting in Wari, wants Nigerians to exercise a little patience for things to turn around. You know, these current hardship are accumulated issues on ground that has not been caused by President Tinubu. And you have to take some of this hard decision on policy. For years, our refineries have been down, we've been importing, and you can see how is pushing to ensure that these refineries they come back. We believe firmly that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is doing everything within his powers to ameliorate the current hardship. We also know as a fact that the policies of his government are beginning to yield results. So we cannot survive without the removal of the poor subsidy. So Nigeria was paying next uh, seven percent of his income to service debt. So that is what the president is trying to, to do and by his last broadcast he said he has paid the money to about 67 percent now. Though the All Progressives Congress is the ruling party in the nation, but in Delta State it is not, and after the 2023 election, the party is yet to stabilize. The Shekiri leaders are working towards uniting the party.
as leaders of APC in Shekiri Delta State, we will engage with leaders from other senatorial areas with a view to build the party you know, in the state. Uh, we have asserted that uh, federal appointment does not make you uh, automatically translate you to a leader of the party. The APC leaders demonstrate their commitment to finding solutions to Nigerians' economic woes and promoting inclusivity within the party in the state. Ikemna Amechi, CVC News, Worry.